talk about shying away from the big things that could turn your life around. I'm the one who would rather clap for my friends for being able to do things I can do, but at the same time, I wish I possessed such confidence. And this is not jealousy, this is admiration. In this episode, I'll be discussing confidence. This is Chura's podcast. I don't think I should be hiding in my shadows because that's not where I'm meant to be. I hate it with everything in me, but I still hide, I still do. I still shiver in fear and pessimistic about my reality. I've observed myself countless times. Regardless, I still struggle to understand why I consistently hesitate and shy away from things. And the irony is that I've always loved to confidently present myself in public. I want to speak, I want to sing, present, I want to do a lot of things. However, when faced with the prospect of doing so in front of an audience, my nerves get the better of me and my body responds with anxiety. Despite all my fantasies, my system seems to shut down and I fail to communicate effectively. I won't lie, it's disheartening to acknowledge that I excel in the front, in the comfort of my own space, practicing effortlessly in front of the mirror. I stand before the mirror, I talk, I do things, I do it confidently, but falter when it comes to performing in front of others. And I want to believe that this is not happening to me alone, yeah? And I wasn't always like this. I was always outspoken. I could talk anywhere before anyone about anything. But I stopped when I became a young teenager. I was more into myself and most times, I didn't want to be seen. This succumbs to me having low self-esteem in my early teenage years, down to a year or two years ago. I can't even walk freely in the crowd without having a second thought of how ridiculous I might look. I don't know why I used to think that way, honestly, because there is nothing ridiculous about my look. Sometimes I try to cover up my shyness and timidness when walking, but in the real sense, I'm about to enter the ground. And that makes me wonder about confidence, people. Those who greet me over the sea, jump around with people, stand before the audience, and maintain their stays without losing their composure. How do people do it? How do they wear confidence like a garment? This mystery I've tried to unravel. I'll use my dad as an example in this podcast because it's the perfect description of what I want to say. My sister and I talked recently, yeah, and we talked about how much our dad is overly confident. When I say overly, you have to like um, quote that word. Literally, my dad is the very opposite of what you call timid and low self esteem. He can talk anywhere, before anyone, wherever and whatever. Talk about being hinted and fearless. That's my dad. And that's what confidence means. Being able to do things you are capable of without doubt and fear. I've heard my dad saying, do you know who I am? How do I teach my daughter? How do I do this? How do I do that? Uh, do you know? Do you know? Do you know my name? Go and tell him that this is I'm your father. Sometimes we tell her that daddy, these people are not who you can just meet or talk to, and you'll be like, he's a man. I am a man. He owns a car. I own a car. He owns a house. I own a house. What does he have that I do not have? Because you and before you blink your eyes, he's already confronting the person, and in the next minute, you will see mutual respect. And I think one of those days I will call him and ask how he does it. Because I'm tired of being like this. I'm tired. Other things he, do, he has told us about his confidence experience are his confronting teachers when he was still in um, elementary school. And a lot of injustice around him he fought when growing up. In the face of injustice here, yeah, my dad is, is um, irrespect, is, um, how would I put it? He doesn't like put respect to people because, um, put respect on people because it just feels like we have to talk about this thing before this thing 
we have to fight for this thing. And when he's into the faith, I mean Christianity, he had say, even if the president was here, I still talk the truth, irrespective. And this was never a tale. I've watched him put on a garment of confidence, with no doubt. And well, I want to emulate being confident because confidence go a long way in your growth i want to be confident i want to like stay be, stay in front of people and talk my shit out i just i don't want to have any fear in me any okay with this sounds right with this sound right before people will i will i be able to do it i can't do it i honestly believe i can do it but once i am before people i'm before the audience I can't do it again. I don't know. I can't do it again. Well, I'm just going to try and try. Keep on trying. Keep on doing it. <laughs> and if you have an opinion on how I can be confident and on how anyone listening to this that is not confident, if you have any way you can help us, please, we are vulnerable. We are open to your help. We will gladly, we'll gladly follow. I will gladly follow. Thank you for listening to this point. Thank you for being here. I'd like to see you. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.